This is Burundi for Jesus 2019. We're taking this world for Jesus. Jesus, Holy Ghost, speak through me now to bring all Burundi to Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The Lord called me here to preach in Burundi. Fall 2018. So we're here to yield to the Holy Ghost. To preach the gospel of Jesus. Souls shall be saved. The sick shall be healed. The devil possessed shall be set free. Jesus will take all Burundi for Jesus. Yes. We will have a conference and seminar for apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Church leaders, ministers, and all Christians. We will yield to the Holy Ghost to impart biblical truths to help us all live the biblical life in Christ. To train our congregations to live for Jesus in holiness in power yes. to bring all the nation to Christ and the crusade we are believing for tens of thousands. All Burundians are welcome. Rwandans are welcome. All people are welcome. To hear the gospel of Jesus. In the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes.
tukae humu tumsikize kama natubiri sisi au tumkitumbana People of Burundi, Banwe Burundi, we greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. We also give thanks to our Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost, also the government of Burundi, for having us here to bring the gospel of Jesus to this wonderful nation. We bless the Lord. We bless all Burundi. And together, we are taking Burundi for Jesus. The good news I bring to you by the Holy Ghost people of Burundi is that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever He is the Lord Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 says and he changes not. What we see Christ doing in the Bible, he is still doing today. And he will do forevermore. Today we will look briefly at what Jesus Christ did, what he is doing, what he will always do. And because he never changes, he will do it in your life too. In his mighty name. First of all, what did Jesus do in the Bible? The word of God tells us John chapter 1 verse 29 John the Baptist said Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sins of the world. Number one in the Bible time Jesus Christ of Nazareth Nazareth took away the sins of the world. He'll do it in your life too. Not only though did Jesus save from sin. Yes, I like his number one. But also number two. Matthew chapter 8. Verses 16 and 17. Says. When even was come, they brought unto him them that were possessed with devils. And he healed all the sick and cast out the spirits with his word that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Esaias the prophet himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. Jesus Christ of Nazareth not only took mankind's sins Jesus Christ of Nazareth took mankind's sicknesses. Jesus is the savior from sin. Number one. He's a healer of sickness. Number two. And number three, he's a deliverer from the devil. Mark 5, a madman, verses 2 through 18, possessed with devil, he came to Jesus, and the devils fell down before Jesus. He worshipped Jesus. Jesus commanded the unclean spirit. Yes, I can. Madam, hey, Mumbi, come out! The spirit left him. He was instantly healed, saved, delivered. In fact, as I stand in the office of apostle, my wife is a prophetess. And the Lord gave her in our time of fasting and prayer two words for Burundi. The Lord speaks change of direction. 
And the Lord says, He wants to bring Burundi back to the Bible. The word of God says as follows. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen, amen. Burundians, the word of God tells us in life, there are only two paths that we can walk. One, the path of sin, leads to death. Two, the path of eternal life, is through Jesus Christ our Lord. And Jesus is here now. I'm going to lead you in a pair of repentance and faith that you might be saved. Say with me, God. I've sinned against you and my sin is a road that will cause me to die be judged guilty and go to hell but I know that is not your will you sent your son Jesus to die and rise, rise to save me so God I repent now I turn from my sin I'm sorry for my sin I turn to Jesus Jesus yes. I call upon you forgive me Jesus save me Jesus Jesus, cleanse me with the blood you shed on your cross. I believe God raised you from the dead. Today I yield to you. I confess you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. Come to the meetings. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He will save, heal, and deliver you as he did those in the Bible. Now I want to pray for your deliverance and your healing. No go kira kwa. Stretch forth your hands to the camera now. The word of God says. The Lord sent his word and he healed them. He's sending his word and healing you right now. That Christian life and Christian ministry can be designated, categorized into two simple categories. Number one, Jesus commands us to follow him. Number two, Jesus commands us to fish men for him. The Lord has given us a simple method. He chooses to take to all the world and help the world to fashion easy in Christ's church. We should know follow Jesus and fish men. It's called count to five evangelize. Everyone with me out loud, number one, two questions. Oh, one more time. Let's let Jesus hear it and the devil hear it and tremble. Number one, two questions. Amina. Number two, three commandments. 
commandments. And number three, four consequences. Number four, one solution. And number five, five requirements. Now the Holy Ghost is going to teach us how to follow Jesus and fish men with great faith. The Word of God tells us faith is what is produced when our human spirit interacts with fellowships with the Holy Spirit and he helps us to see what he sees to know what he knows and believe what he believes faith is not just our efforts to believe a book. Faith is the Holy Ghost telling us the truth of Jesus. The truth of the Word of God. The truth of the Spirit realm. And He knows. And putting what He knows in our minds. Professional fishermen stand up. Just Amen. Stay standing, please. He's helping tell his oil and tell me what kind of fish. Now I'm giving you some accuracy. Okay. I have a saja. Yeah, sajas. Captains. I'm a captain. Yeah, captains. Captain. They are captains. They're from Michigan, USA. But America. There, no captain. He knows captains. If I now go with him, and let's walk here. And he's taking the fish. Now, are there captains? Are there sergeants? Like there, there, down on the ground. All those fish are there. Watch. I don't believe it. Just that gives it what I'm But when I go fishing with him, I don't get Kuroba and now I'm pretending we're fishing. What he knows, what he believes, what he believes, starts to come into my mind. What he sees, what he sees, I now see. I start to see as he sees.
and fish men for Jesus by fasting and prayer. You'll find God's power. You'll find God's provision. You'll find the blessings of heaven. You'll find the portion of Jesus. You'll find revival. You'll find church growth. In summertime, your church might have gone down. In summertime, because people go on vacation. But your church doesn't have to go down. If you go down on your knees, if you go down and fast, if you turn your food plate down, church will go up. 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 For 21 days. This is what I'm giving you. But I always start earlier. Say I'm not talking about it. The Holy Ghost and I alone. Yeah, we are in the church with you. And I was praying fasting. People say that it's on the church. The people start coming up. And I tell them I will not go. The Lord spoke to me prophetically. The Lord said, "I'm bringing back the lost sheep." People on drugs. People who've been in jail. And I found around the world, most have a sincere heart for Jesus. Most seek the Lord in prayer. Some in fasting. Most in study the word. And are fervent in preaching. And teaching. But many have heard of God is something very important. To build the kingdom of God. In their lives. Marriages. Family. Congregations. And oversight of ministries worldwide. We're going to look at that today. We're going to study to this morning. How to follow and fish. How to follow and fish. With the forgotten foundation. How to follow and fish. From the forgotten foundation. Number one, Jambi. repentance. From dead works. Repentance. From dead works. Most preachers are scared to preach repentance. Because the board of trustees will stop giving them big offers. Come on. The doctrine of Christ and his purity will give you God's power. Because the devil will have no place to put unbelief, doubt, lying, lust, worldliness, 
see to stop the power of the Ghost. So yeah, we see that so after repentance we you preach faith. If you might be had that you should be tell that for God. In Greek faith is pistis. Persuasion. Assurance. Fidelity. Fidelity. And also means obedience. We tell them after they turn from sin and sin. They must turn to Jesus only. Very important in Burundi. Not Jesus and Mary. Only Jesus. Thirdly, the doctrine of baptisms. Baptisms. Christ preached and taught. Yes, he shall Baptisms. Christ taught too. Yes, Today people teach one. The one people teach. One The one preachers teach. should be taught. God can be this one. It is biblical. Baptism in water. It's a name. Acts 1 8. Jesus said yes, to all the Christians on earth at that time, but, Christmas, but ye shall receive power. But it was all that was shows. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, up to the uttermost part of the so they went to an upper room. They went to the two or two. Acts 1, 13 and 14. And they waited for this baptism with the Holy Ghost. To receive the power of God. Acts chapter 2 verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was God, they were all with one accord. And then, there is sound of heaven. And the king of rushing mighty wind. It filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a flower. And sat upon each other. And they were all, say with me, all. As the Spirit gave them utterance. After the doctrine of baptism. Doctrine of laying on of hands. Hands. In the Greek. The word is divine as power. This is what will show us. The laying on of hands is an imposition of power. After the laying on of hands, resurrection from the dead. The preaching resurrection from the dead will keep Christ's congregation holy. will keep our worldliness. keep the fear of the Lord. The love of God. The love of the brethren. And the patient waiting for Christ. Uh -huh. And lastly, Acts 1 and 13. Acts 1 and 13. Eternal judgment. People can die while we preach to them. You might die. But after we preach to them. You might die. But after we preach to them. 
and the purpose of Christ. The purpose of Jesus who died and rose from them is not that they fill a pew in a church that we preach in. But rather they feel heaven. I after they die. And our church. If you've not preached the doctrine of Christ, if you fear man instead of God, if you've stopped preaching repentance, faith that works by love and obedience. Holy Ghost and a water baptism. In the out of hands. Speaking in tongues. God, I repent. For sinning against you. I turn away from lying. Lusting. I turn to Jesus. I believe you died and rose, Lord Jesus. Give me your grace to live holy, to preach boldly, to follow in your steps. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost.